After 250,000 coronavirus tests, it's a very, very high number, they've been carried out in Australia. We've got just under 5,000 coming back as positive. Now, why some say it's, it's very early days, that the curve is flattening. Experts are warning this is not the time to slow down on testing and social distancing measures. Now, at the very start of uh, this whole issue a couple of weeks ago, when it really became paramount in Australia, I spoke with the former head of the Australian Medical Associ Association, Dr Mikesh Harkawell. He's on the front line now. Yes, he's got a, a public policy brain from his time at the AMA, but he runs a GP clinic in the western suburbs of Melbourne and he has been testing people in his clinic in the car park, I might add, and I thought it'd be smart to check up with him via Skype to see where we're up to a few weeks now into the worst of the crisis. Mikesh, thank you very much for your time tonight. Thanks, Peter. Thanks for having me back on. Um, things have improved, I've got to say, because um, we're taking part in a Commonwealth initiative to uh, have a... Um, what's called a respiratory clinic, and that means we see we see light in terms of being able to treat people. What's happened thus far is that if we didn't have any kids, we couldn't treat people, we couldn't do testing, and most importantly, people who had other medical illnesses but happened to have a respiratory disease couldn't be seen here. So we're sending people who would normally treat in practice off to hospitals. So um, as of tomorrow, we uh, roll out our um, clinic, which is actually industrialising the process of uh, uh, car testing or you know drive-through uh, testing um, and we've also got uh, again with a support from the Commonwealth Government a um, uh, actually it's Nissan huts in the back car park but it looks fab fabulous um, and um, we treat people who should have a COVID test or not have a COVID test but they've got respiratory illnesses and can't be seen in a clinic so all of a sudden it takes the um, the uh, gag off us it takes the the handcuffs off our hands, we can actually do something again, looking after people who, by the way, it's coming to Christmas, uh, so to, to um, uh, winter, so there's lots of people with viruses anyway, um, to be able to look after them um, and the other illnesses they might have, like uh, tummy pain or, or bad back or whatever, mm. which otherwise will go to hospitals. So it's actually, I can see a little bit of a step in the right direction. And you're absolutely right, we've got to keep testing. It's interesting, you know, three or four weeks ago we were getting all the announcements from government but they do take some time to filter down on the ground to practitioners at the front line like you. Um, I'm interested to know there's been a lot of debate about medical equipment, protective gear, uh, masks and other things. Have you got enough? Are you hearing from other colleagues like you who, who are out there in the community? Have they got enough? And also there was a big announcement today by the Premier Daniel Andrews in Victoria about really lifting the level of uh, intensive care beds with ventilators. Um, how do you receive, you know, you're the medico, how do you receive yeah. all of that information? Well, I mean, the main idea is to not have people going to hospital onto ventilators because uh, that's a pretty rocky road and um, coming out the other end uh, is a bit, is a bit, you know, rocky as well. So the idea is to do stuff in the, in the community, do the testing, keep the social distancing, being careful with our normal hygiene that we talk about and, and, and respiratory hygiene with blowing into the into the into the sleeve, etc. But you're right. Um, garb. We, we've gone in for these things, which are uh, theatre gowns um, and scrubs. So we're minimising exposure when we get home. We are actually having these um, uh, washed at very high temperatures, so they, they come back clean, and we can actually reuse some of these things. Um, I got given literally after a. You know, in the periods last the week we, we were speaking last time, somebody called and actually sent us a tr literally a truckload of um, a, some gowns and some goggles, which is really quite useful uh, to do this sort of clinic and also give to our colleagues who may not have any. But overall, there is a you know lack of supply. Um, the thing that's really the right determining step is reagents that we do the testing with, um, and we're not sure how good the rapid testing is going to be. But the testing that we're doing with the swabs, there's a limited number of swabs and reagents to test it with. So there are limiting steps, but the, you know, the, the supply is improving and we're getting more wise about how we test. And of course, we're now testing more people to, to see what the level of, of illness is out there. Um, and we are, I'm really pleased to be able to look after people with respiratory illness again, not having to send them to hospital. All right, well, I'll come back and check in with you in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, stay safe, and I know a lot of Australians would say thank you very much for the work that you do. Akesh Hakawell. Thank you very much.